Did you see him? Yeah. Is he all right? As far as I know. Is he coming home? Uh, he ditched me. He started running. And I started running too, but then he lost me in the park. <gasps> the park? It's dark in there. And that's where he is. Well, he ducked in one place, and I figured he ducked out another. You figure? And then I found this bakery shop that was still open, and I bought a birthday cake. A what? For Harold. When Paul comes home, we can all have some birthday cake. Oh, nice. There's this cake that somebody didn't pick up. It says, happy birthday, somebody else. Happy birthday, Wanda June. Well, we can just scrape off the Wanda June with a butter knife. The cake. Happy birthday, Wanda June. Who the hell is Wanda June? I'm Wanda June, and today was going to be my birthday. But I was hit by an ice cream truck before I could have my party. I'm dead now, and, and I'm in heaven. You see, that's why my parents didn't pick up the cake at the bakery. Oh, I'm not mad at the ice cream truck driver. Even though he was drunk when he hit me, it didn't hurt much. It wasn't even as bad as, as the sting of a bumblebee. <laughs> I'm really happy here. You know, I'm glad the driver was drunk. If he hadn't have been, I might never have got to heaven for years and years and years. I would have had to go to the high school first, and then to beauty college, and I would have had to get married and, and have babies and everything. <laughs> now I can just play and play and play. Everybody up here is happy. The animals, the dead soldiers, the people who went to the electric chair and everything. Nobody's mad. We're all too busy playing shuffleboard. So if you think of killing anybody, don't worry about it. Just go right ahead and do it. Whoever you do it to should kiss you for doing it. Oh, the soldiers just love the, the shrapnel and the tanks and the bayonets. And the dum-dums that let him play shuffleboard all the time and drink beer. Ask about the time he and I were parachuted into Yugoslavia to join a band of guerrillas in the war against the Nazis. Mm -hmm. I saw your father fight Major Siegfried von Kernitzwald, the beast of Yugoslavia, hand to hand. Tell me that! All right. We hid by day and we fought by night, you see. One afternoon at sunset, your father and I were looking through a pair of binoculars when we saw this Mercedes pull up in front of the village inn. It was escorted by two motorcycles and one armored car. And out of that black Mercedes stepped one of the most hateful men in all of history, the Beast of Yugoslavia. Wow. We blacked our hands and faces. And then at night, we crept out of the forest into the village. It was called Maravich. Remember the name, Maravich? Maravich. Father, he came up behind a sentry, <laughs> and he slit his throat before he could utter a word. Yeah. And then, then we found another crowd all alone on the back lane, and your father choked him to death with a length of piano wire. Your father was a virtuoso with piano wire. Then we went to the back of the village inn, and with the permission of the management, we poisoned the wine of the six crowds that were carousing there. And one of them was a beast of Yugoslavia? Oh, no, 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 no. He was upstairs. He came running downstairs when he heard the loud calls. The men were making the last wills and testaments, and they were lamenting about the hospitality they had received, you see. And then I saw your father step forward and say in perfect German, which he had learned in the Spanish Civil War, Major, I believe something tragic has happened to your bodyguard. I, sir, am Harold Ryan of the United States of America, and you, sir, are the beast of Yugoslavia! Maravich, that name will live forever. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am Major Siegfried von Königswald. They used to call me the Beast of Yugoslavia. 
On account of all the people I had tortured and shot and hanged, we'd bop them on the head. We'd hook them up to the electricity. We'd stick them with hypodermic syringes filled with all kinds of stuff. <laughs> One time, we killed a guy with orange juice. We were interrogating this guy one day, and he wouldn't talk. And the next thing I know, somebody's filling this big syringe with orange juice. <laughs> oh, that Harold Ryan, he says he spoke to me in perfect German, yeah? Hmm? He talks German like my ass chews gum. I'm glad to hear the wonderful thing he said before he killed me. Yeah, I sure didn't understand it the first time around. I, I thought he was a Lithuanian, maybe. Yeah. All I knew was he was very proud about something. He, the woods were full of all kinds of nuts who were proud of some damn thing or other. Yeah, and they all had guns. They were always looking for revenge. You find a way to bottle revenge, that's the end of schnapps and Coca-Cola. <laughs> Harold Ryan said he killed maybe ooh, 200 guys, eh? <laughs> I killed a hundred times that many, I bet. <laughs> well, that's still uh, your peanuts, of course, uh, compared to what that crazy loose leaf did. Oh, yeah, but, but you see, Harold and me, we was doing it the hard way. Yeah, I, hope, I hope the record books will show that. Yeah, I'm up in heaven now. Yeah, yeah like that, uh, that little Fanta tune kid. <laughs> I wasn't hit by no ice cream truck. Harold Ryan, he killed me with his bare hands. He was good. Oh, yeah. yeah. My eyes popped out. My, my tongue stuck out like, like a red banana. I, I sh shit in my pants. It was a mess. When I got up on the day I died, I said, what a beautiful day this is. What a beautiful part of the world. The whole planet was beautiful. Uh, up here, I... Uh, I meet guys from other planets. <laughs> we got some really crazy looking guys up here. Oh! <laughs> We have this new club up here in heaven. Oh, yes, we do. In heaven, shuffleboard is everything. Hitler plays shuffleboard. Albert Einstein plays shuffleboard. Mozart plays shuffleboard. Lewis Carroll, who wrote Alice in Wonderland, plays shuffleboard. Jack the Ripper plays shuffleboard. Walt Disney, who gave us Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, plays shuffleboard. Yeah. Even Jesus Christ plays shuffleboard. That was almost worth the trip. To, to find out that Jesus Christ in heaven is just another guy playing shuffleboard. You know, I like his sense of humor, though, you know? He's got this blue and gold warm-up jacket he wears, yeah? You know what it says on the back? Pontius Pilate Athletic Club. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have jackets, too, aren't we? Are we going to have jackets? You bet we're going to have jackets. The Harold Ryan Fan Club. Pink, eh? With a yellow streak up the back. 